Hello there! Welcome! Welcome to Imaginary Friend Asylum. This video is like the last video, where my mic, uh, no longer worked on the OBS for this. So I'm actually recording while watching the video in the editor I have. So I'm currently w uh, walking towards the exit. I wonder if I have to record a whole 20 minutes. Oh, look at that! People burning some sort of cult or something. I think I remember saying something about that last time I was here. Alright, I gotta go up the stairs and see what happens. I don't know, I remember falling bricks, but that's not here yet. Oh, is this... Oh, no, this is a screen room. Yup, that's Edward right there. That's Twisty. Twisty's not having a fun time, though. I don't know what's going on with him. Poor Edwards. This room's pretty freaky, eh? And that's when I noticed the exit. Uh, well, the entrance disappears. Parchment room does tend to starve people, eh? Oh, here's the brick one! Time to fall down and uh, travel to a plane of another existence. Well, not yet. I have to go for that door first. I wonder if it's gonna lag if I have full screen preview. And behold, I am in space. I can now see the planets of Saturn. And it's at this point where I actually get stuck for a very long while. Like, I don't remember how long I spent here, but I spent a pretty long time. If I knew my audio to the mic was not going through, I wouldn't be here as long as I did. You know, I thought this was like some hallucinating waiting thing. No, it's it's not. <laughs> I don't know, you may be expecting, oh, I should cut it now, right? No, I just want to have this, I want to have me look around a bit. You know, I thought I saw things moving. But really, it's, it's just it's just me imagining things. I was here so long that I even started singing. And that singing is never going to see the light of day. Nor anywhere. Because, well, as you can see, the audio is gone. It's just the game audio. I don't know what happened to mic audio. I don't... It's possible someone tried to contact me before. I mean, during that one thing. Really, it's... That Saturn, a pink light, and can we have a look at the blue light real quick? No, okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. Uh, all the parts after, but if yeah, okay. See you when there's dialogue or something else. So I cut out about maybe six minutes and I didn't realize I just started this on a loading screen but here I am what's going on where am I yada yada so I'm gonna include this part, part of pit because it was at this point when I started making theories about what's going on so here I have a theory that the asylum could be burning down or the fire represents some sort of wickedness of the nurses which I didn't think about that but there's something up with the nurses. All of them dancing in fire, evil. But the other thing was not in that room, I believe. It was. Over here is just, it's just a walkthrough. Not not much else in it. And here we are, this room. So it looks like Twisty has a panic attack, or something's attacking him. I. Edwards is on the floor. He probably starved to death, is what I have to assume. 
I'm assuming it's like some sort of prediction for what happened to the characters. So here, Edward Stark. That's what happened. Back to the bricks. But we will not be reaching Saturn again. Instead, we'll get to a room that has smudge in it. Now, Tommy is still alive. He's actually the only person seen alive that's a child. One of the children. But a smudge saying, you're going to die. No, don't go in there yet. Don't you do that. There's that mischievous mask thing right there. Yeah, I, I try to have a look at him over here. Something's up with that dude. He's hiding his real face. There's Tommy, he's crying, he's sad. I don't know if it's a prediction of something bad happening to Tommy or not. Uh, what's this? A door. Would this lead me to the forest? Guess I started looking behind myself. Yep, it led me to the forest. Now, if you look at the sky, it's the same as the universe one. So Saturn is somewhere underneath it all. I don't know why it's there. It's just there. You can see the blue lights and the aura stuff, yada yada. Soon we're gonna find a... I think it's a coffin. I'm convinced this is a coffin of Annabelle and that is Spooky who failed to save her. He's... I don't know what he's... I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I think this is where I also might have called him a cult. Because it definitely looked cultish. I think I try to look inside a coffin too, but I can't really see if Annabelle's in it. Uh, there was, um, I forgot the guy's name. Gosh dang, well boys, but I remember Mark, but is it Thomas? Oh, that was a plague doctor, totally. Now to go to a faraway place. And this, I believe, is... Well, at least I think it's... I forgot his... Gosh dang it, I forgot his name. Uh, the first kid guy... Oh wait, some of you may not even know. Uh, he's a kid with po polo. At least I think it's a kid with polo. That he dies in a bathtub, probably gets electrocuted. That's the hint. But Polo is somewhere around here. He, ac he actually does talk, so when I see him, I gotta be quiet. Not yet. He's not here. Continue forward. Don't stop. Is yeah, I think... Yeah, there he is. Polo is crying over his friend's death. Blood is all down. Polo can see. He's a... Polo's the only one not affected by something, too. That's crazy, isn't it? I'll be quiet now. For this bit. I tried to warn you. Or he could be talking to the gravestone. This part, I have no idea what's going on. Now this is the part where I leave you all. Where we see the ghost of the asylum. Yep, he's a bad as stab, alright. I can say a little bit longer. Oh, he's saying die. Yeah, I was supposed to run and yeah, yeah. Alright, well, enjoy my failed attempts and such. See ya.
Well, I wasn't expecting it, but there was some dialogue. Here. And a bell? And Fanny. And Fanny. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I can't do it. I'm sorry. This is where I leave y'all, so. Bye and have a. It has been a very long time. Well, it, it's been going very long. I kind of want to end it. Mr. Rivers, you're awake. Was that really all a dream? It felt so real. I'm sure you're wondering as to why you're in my office while you were asleep. You started burning up with a fever. I'm so confused. What's happening? Oh yeah, uh, last time, new dosage of something, uh, insulin, whatever, uh, nightmare dream, now I'm here. Dr. Fig was convinced that a fever would burn your mental illness, so to speak. He thought it would cure you. Mr. Rivers, he's begun to poison you. Is he trying to kill me? I understand. I tried everything I could to persuade him to stop his experiments, but he won't listen to me. His position is above mine. So there's nothing I can do. I actually still have no idea if Boris is a woman or not. <laughs> I still think it's a dude with glasses. That's for all I know. But I don't believe it is methods. If this continues, if I may be blunt, I think you will die, Mr. Rivers. What should I do? Listen. Listen, there is truly nothing I can do, because they have their eyes on me. For month supply of the injection they are giving you is in the surgery room. It has your name on it. Suppose you were to sneak out at night and replace it with water. I don't believe the nurses would not would notice. You must pretend to sleep once they give it to you. You didn't hear it from me, okay? But I really can't stand to see Dr. Fig do this to a patient. I understand. I'll keep it a secret. Oh, and I was able to convince the teacher to allow you to skip lessons today. Please, go back to your room. Rest well before nightfall. Good luck, Mr. Rivers. Okay. You got to be kidding me.
I was so close to the end of the demo? No shot! <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to add this to the last video. Uh, anyways, um, that's it for Imaginary Friend Asylum. Goodbye! And have a fun time.